Well, I wanted to do a shout out, which I haven't done yet. Excuse me, I just went for a big walk. Way out to the those red cliffs over there. I took walked out as far as I could on this side of the river and then I flew the drone across the river and along those red cliffs there. So hopefully they'll be on uh, one video here coming up. Not on this one though. I wanted to do a shout out on this video. And uh, which I haven't done before. So just my apologies now that I can't name you as all and don't feel left out please if I don't mention your your name or your channel it's just that I can't shout out to everyone and uh, the ones I did pick to shout out to are uh, there's no real meaning behind a lot of them they're just uh, ones that come to my channel and, and uh, put in comments and what have you so uh, the first shout out is going to go to DSK11, Darren. He lives in my city here. And uh, the reason I'm shouting out to him is because uh, he was my first subscriber. And uh, so that's therefore the, the shout out to him. Then there's uh, Carol, my sister, Opal Rains. Um, she always comments on my, my channel also, on every video that I do goes and watches and looks um, then there's Canadian drone networks uh, Roger and Kim both of them I owe them both uh, a huge shout out and a big favor because they were very instrumental in getting me uh, a lot of subscribers I went there with uh, I don't know X amount of subscribers and when I after the uh, I was on their their live stream and after the stream I doubled my my uh, subscribers so if I had one, I guess I had two. I don't remember the number, but it was it was quite a few subscribers uh, that they that I got that day and the next day. I was I think I was on there twice, once in the morning, once in the evening, or something. So shout out to uh, Canadian Drone Networks. They were very good. There, that's a great channel. Everybody should go there. Uh, they don't just talk about drones all the time. They talk about anything RC. RC cars, RC planes, RC drones, uh, anything in particular, or anything. Just uh, go to their channel and uh, tell them uh, Wayne sent you King Tut. <laughs> uh, Val's Life, uh, she has a live stream also, but I haven't, uh, I go there every once in a while, but wherever I see her and she sees me, she always says hi Wayne or hi King Tut. So I appreciate that very much, Val. Thank you. Uh, Merch. Merch is just a new subscriber to me, but every video I put out, he comes and makes a comment. Uh, and I know he has like a thousand subscribers, so he can't answer all his, uh, his, uh, I can't go and watch all these videos all the time. So, but it seems like every one that I've put out so far, he's always commenting and always saying hi. So thank you, Merch. Then there's uh, Camper Van Capers. They're from the UK. They always, there was one, they were one of the first subscribers to my channel also I always go to their new videos coming out they always come to mind they always uh, comment and uh, and click on the views I mean that's what counts is the is the views and the uh, the comments to me it's uh, not necessarily the amount of subscribers I have a lot of you subscribers just won't come to my channel because it's just not your your cup of tea it's not what you like and therefore you know I mean I don't blame you at all I don't probably come to a lot of uh, ones that I subscribe to either. It's just uh, I subscribe to them and uh, I feel guilty if I don't subscribe back and I've learned my lesson. I don't need to subscribe to everyone. Uh, if it's just not what I enjoy, there's no sense uh, subscribing. It's, uh, it, it's just the way it is. I'm sure everybody's like that. Uh, then Stonewolf, Michael, he's from Medicine Hat also from my, my city here. He's helped me tremendously, um, getting me getting me interested in uh, racing drones, and uh, it's good. he's he's very knowledgeable on what's going on. 
on how to program them, how to set them up, how to do whatever it takes to make them fly good. And uh, he gives me a set of goggles, and uh, so I follow in on the same flight that he's on. I, I just set the right channel so that I can see what he's seeing. And I watch how he flies. I, I sometimes take the goggles off and I watch his hands to see how, it, how he moves the joysticks and uh, very small movements. Uh, so I, I, I learned a lot from him and uh, another guy that's in town, Ireland. I think he has a channel, but he doesn't have any videos set up or it doesn't have it all set up yet. But both of them have been very uh, helpful to me. So thank you, Stonewolf, Michael and Ireland. Uh, Skypilot always comes to my uh, videos and says, you know, thank you and uh, thanks for making the video and thanks for sharing and what have you. Uh, Sly Dad, my brother, he's always coming to my uh, my videos and always commenting and saying what he likes and this and that, even if it's something that's not always likable. It's, uh, my videos aren't perfect every time, so but he still says awesome video. Uh, like, like I said, I guess awesome is in the eye of the beholder, but uh, uh, I know they're not always the greatest, but he always says so. 4x4 four four camping and drones, like uh, this guy always comes to my channel and always says hi. And I go to his also. I go to all these ones and, and make comments and sometimes I just like. I don't really make a comment, but I should. Yeah, I should always comment, especially if I like. Uh, it gives the, the uh, channel a little bit better of a boost when you, when you like and when you uh, uh, make a comment. Especially the comments because it makes you feel like you're talking to someone as opposed to uh, just the camera holding it in my hand and, and, and talking to no one, whereas all I can see now is all you a subscriber standing back there and um, I'm talking to you. So thank you 4x4 Camping Drones. Uh, Raymond Millwood, he always uh, comes, he's just a new subscriber to me and he's always coming to my channel and he's saying, uh, you know, nice things about it and uh, putting in his support. So thank you, Raymond. And uh, Frank Stuff, uh, Frank Stuff has got very few subscribers and I'm uh, trying to get him interested in coming to at least the Canadian Drone uh, Network uh, so that he can pick up a few subscribers. He's a pretty good pilot. Uh, he flies um, Drone Harmony, which I got him interested in, and he's doing really well on it, but uh, he doesn't uh, make appearances on, that, on uh, uh, the Drone Network. Um, live chat. I'd like to get him interested in that because he do, he's doing pretty good. And then I want to make a, another large uh, shout out to Drone Harmony themselves, uh, the company. I made a couple of, or a few Drone Harmony tutorials and I, I, I guess from what I take other people have said so that they're some of the best tutorials out there. And uh, so when I put my uh, videos on their channel um, they thanked me very much for actually making the tutorials and uh, Drone Harmony was a free app and now you have to pay for it. Uh, I think it's $29.99 for a, a basic lifetime membership and then $29.99 for a, a pro membership for a year. If you're a business it's $299 a, a year or a month or something, uh, whatever they charge. And they had given me the pro version absolutely free for five years so uh, I, I thank them very much um, appreciate that so now I can actually make more uh, uh, tutorials on, on the pro version and uh, uh, set them up uh, to direct people to go there and download that that's one of the greater greatest apps there is in my opinion it's a lot better than uh, the go for app in what it can do Although, and, I mean, the Go4 app can do things that Drone Harmony can't do, but uh, it, Drone Harmony is set up geared for different things. It's geared for mostly for waypoint flying. Although you can fly without waypoints, you can just go like in in uh, Go4 app. You can take off and fly and and be, uh, VFP and uh, fly anywhere you want to. You don't have to fly to waypoints. Then uh, I c you can see that I'm reading my notes off of a, a booklet here. Uh, tech reviews. Thank you very much for uh, subscribing and following along. Nameless Droner. There's another one. Thank you very much. RC Dude. Uh, Raphael Scrapper. 
uh, Wakey, thank you, and Nell. <laughs> uh, Prop Gear, uh, Drone Bum, Mars. Love my drones. I mean, I love all you guys. It's just uh, amazing. Uh, Bob Biker is another one that always comments and says hi. Southpaw Drones, thank you guys for following along and uh, supporting my uh, channel. Uh, Silverado Collector is another guy um, always comments. FPV Freaky, thank you very much. Um, all you guys, and there's like a, like I said, there must be a hundred more, and I just can't name you as all. Uh, RC Crazy, uh, um, there's just countless, I just can't even think of them right now, but um, please don't feel offended uh, that I didn't call your name or didn't say your name. Um, like I said, there's just so many um, that I can't keep track even of them. I, I did keep track at the beginning. I always answer all my comments uh, so far. I've been able to keep up. I'm not one of your most popular uh, people on YouTube, but I do uh, uh, appreciate every single one of you. I think I have at this point in time 150, well, just shy of 150, got 148, 149 subscribers right now. And uh, I guess like everybody, we're all trying to make it to that thousand. I don't know. Uh, I mean, if you want to just to to um, monetize, ah, forget it. Uh, so you can monetize, you make a dollar here, a dollar there, unless you're just absolutely lucky and your your channel goes nuts and you get like 10, 20, 30,000 subscribers. That's when you can start making a, a couple of dollars. But so I'm not so much into the, the numbers of subscribers anymore. I'm more or less into the, the views or what makes the 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 money and the uh, uh, comments, if that's what uh, you, you like. But I like the comments and the views because it tells me actually somebody's watching, somebody's liking what I'm doing. Um, I'm not totally 100% into, into drones, as you can tell by my content. I started out uh, my content as an old man living in a van, this van right here, and uh, making videos as where I'm going, what I'm doing as I'm going across Canada. And I went from where I am here, middle of Alberta, all the way to the East Coast, uh, came back on my way back. I stopped back, I stopped at uh, Roger and Kim with the Canadian Drone Network stayed with them for a night. I should have stayed longer. They were very hospita hosp hospitality was great. <laughs> they uh, watered and fed me, um, met Roxy, uh, everything was great. Uh, like I said, I just can't thank them enough. And then uh, the rest of the trip came back to Alberta and now I'm gonna go from Alberta to the West Coast, uh, to the Pacific Ocean, put my feet in the Pacific Ocean and uh, I think I'm going to winterize there because uh, winter there is a lot milder than it would be in, in uh, Medicine Hat here. Like, I could never live 40 below in this van. Living in a tin can in the heat of the summer and the cold of the winter is just not geared for that. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to survive in Vancouver. But I think I've done all the shout outs. And uh, I just want to thank every single one of you. You do feel like family to me. Uh, the Canadian Drone Network, I try to go on there as much as I possibly can. Not every time, but when I do, I always pick up a couple of uh, subscribers, new ones. And I see everyone on there is just uh, getting built up. And it does feel like a family. And uh, it, it feels different than when you just go to uh, other... Um, live streams which I don't go to very often sorry <laughs> I've been to Val's a couple of times I've been to uh, Silverado's a couple of times and I've been to uh, RC crazy a couple of times so I've, I've been to a f yes I have been to a few of them but I most of the time I'm on uh, Canadian drone networks with uh, with everyone you know that I more or less know better but anyways thank you guys uh, Hopefully, maybe in the future, I can make another shout out to uh, any new coming um, subscribers that I am going to get in the future. And uh, I guess that's about it. So we'll talk to you all next time.
thanks for coming out, eh?